live from the MGM Grand Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's The Q at Splunk.com 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Splunk. Here is your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for the Splunk Conference .com 2014, the hashtag SplunkConf. I'm John Furrier, the co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media, and uh, we're excited to talk to, well, I'm excited, I'm sure you will be as well, the product guys at, uh, at Splunk, and uh, Guido Schroeder, Senior Vice President of Products, and Devani Lama, Senior Manager uh, in Product Management. You guys are running the product. These are the folks bringing the magic of Splunk and really solving a lot of problems. So one, we just love your product. You guys are adding customers, so obviously, you know, the, the, the volume of customers. You have, you have what they say in Silicon Valley, product market fit. So that's a good thing. So <laughs> we know, how do you, what's your next act? So give us, you know, one, an update on the product now, and, and we're going to get into like, what's next? Well, so, you know, first of all, I have to say the adrenaline is still pumping through our veins from, from the keynote. Uh, it was just outrageous. Feels always like a firework, how we are opening. The Probably event here, star, yeah. like. uh, you know, another thousand plus customers more than during the last event, and uh, I really enjoyed listening to our customers what they are doing with it, uh, and that's sometimes really defining also the next next act or uh, how how we are finding those next acts. Uh, there's always a surprise, you know, when you listen to a customer, when you visit them, or they, we have them at our Splunk Lives. They always come back with some new story that you haven't thought about, and that inspires us often. I mean, there is nothing better than co-innovate with your customers, understand what their real problems are, and then work with them to get that problem solved with your product. Yeah. And the keynote, obviously, we have in the cube, which is great here, is you guys bring a lot of customers, and I think mm -hmm. that that's the, let your game do the talking, as we say on the cube. Yeah. And you guys have done that, but I really want to dig into the product piece about it. What is the most um, uh, compelling thing that you guys are seeing with the customers? Where's I mean, where's the continuing uh, doubling down? What features do you see coming out of the platform? And again, it is a platform and tools. So, so what's what's working? And you had to give yourself a, a checkbox next to the good stuff. You know, I, I think every successful technology company uh, had something in it that really defined the 10 times advantage over what previous technology has done. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but Godfrey had this one slide in his initial part, you know, when he set the rest of the keynote up, where he showed, you know, what the industry at large was doing over the last 25 years with relational database management systems uh, and more transactional type of applications that we have built on it. And Splunk really came with a different idea and you know you heard this multiple times during the keynote where we really turned you know the world of data sometimes some somehow upside down. Yeah. So you know store first and then structure it instead of structure it first uh, and then put it into a relational schema. And I think this concept of schema on read uh, uh, and doing these very flexible analytics on top of it at scale, that is probably really you know, one of the defining things that, that we, we have done. The other thing that I'm excited about is, you know, if you just look at the scope of uh, you know, things uh, that we can get access to, yeah, that has dramatically changed. Uh, so you, you saw this diagram with how the portfolio expanded, and that has multiple dimensions to it. Yeah, there is a dimension of uh, you know, acquiring data, collecting data, uh, so there was really an explosion um, of new things that we have added to the uh, product portfolio to make us a lot more versatile from where do we can get data. So we were talking about mobile, uh, you know, tapping into mobile devices, mobile applications. Uh, we were talking about wire data that came out of the cloud meter acquisition. Uh, you know, how do you capture packet data and make some sense out of it? Uh, we were talking about uh, you know, our partnerships there uh, with some of the mainframe vendors not to also uh, get access to that and that still remains for many of our customers a backbone of their enterprises. So that's one dimension. The other dimension is everything that happens on the user interface. <laughs> and we have Divani with us who knows his stuff a lot better than I am. We're going to drill down on yeah. her in a second, but I want to just say, close out that piece. Great job, congratulations. I think you guys cracked the code certainly with Gen 1, ingestion, a lot of the core innovation mm -hmm. engine. You're adding to around, a lot more stuff around it. And it's really growing outside of just you know, yeah. one, the, the one spot you guys have been winning at and continue to add yeah. customers. But as you guys become the real time um, center of the universe for data, 
you don't hear words like data warehouse and business intelligence anymore. And I just made that tweet out there that <laughs> your customers don't have to say data warehouse, business intelligence. They're just talking Splunk. So this modern era is shifting. So the thing I want to ask you about your role there because you do search and analytics. This brings up a very Google-like uh, in, environment. I think search, I think Google, I think analytics, I think value, I think real time. Give us the update. What's going on with search and analytics? Obviously, pressure from the customers probably saying, you know, give me more. What are you, what are you hearing and what are you guys building? I think the, the biggest thing that we're hearing from customers is exactly that expansion of use cases. Uh, when I first joined a few years ago, we were hearing a lot of IT, and now we're talking about how is IT a partner to the business and how is IT going to help business achieve their goals. So all of the things that I talked about in the keynote today are in direct response to those asks, things like how do I mash up structured and unstructured data? How do I enrich my data? How do I have self-serve analytics? And everything that we're investing in is around this theme of usability, simplicity, and detangling this big mess of data that organizations have. Uh, so it's BI 2.0, really. It, it, you know, like I, the reason that people don't talk about business intelligence is because it comes with this long set of pain points that unstructured data doesn't have in the same way. So we're, we're really just kind of thinking about how do we, how do we give you that capability, that interactivity. So more fluid, you mean. So like exactly. BI, in the old world, you think of tables, structure, geeks, well, send you go, it out to the fenced yeah, out no, organization. I mean like you go and you ask everyone what questions are you going to ask of the data and then you embed that into the model that you're generating <laughs> and then six <laughs> months later, you have an answer to the questions that were going to be asked six months ago. Yeah. With Splunk, you have the answer, I, I remember Lee mentioning 10 minutes for some of the questions that he wanted to answer. It's just instantaneous. So I got to ask you, because one of the things we were mentioned on the, on the intro, uh, certainly on the crowd chat as well, was IT's changing from being business value driven, but also user productivity. So you bring up a good point. As you get more real time, data has a life of its own. It has, it's almost like chemistry, right? Chemical properties, it, it, it evolves, and if you're lagging, there's a sure. huge issue. Domino's was just commenting on some patterns that, that save them money, right? <laughs> so there's business value, not just IT value, but business value and business, business units, but also the user experience. Because now with analytics, you're going into a new space, not just geeks, but business folks. So what do you guys see there as the number one thing you're focused on in that user productivity piece? Uh, I'd say building of visualizations and building dashboards. I mean, they go, they go hand in hand. So some of the investments we've made in instant pivot and the pivot interface, just drag and drop reporting and all of the things that go with that. So it's, uh, if I had to summarize the investment area for us right now and going into the future, it's direct interaction with the data for business users, for non-technical users. So Guido, got to ask you about the Amazon news, but Amazon reInvent, will the Cube will be there uh, here in Las Vegas. What does that mean for you guys? Talk about the Amazon uh, news that hit today. You got Amazon, that's, that smells like cloud, that's pay by the drink, that's real time analytics, uh, all that stuff's happening. How is that impacting you guys from a roadmap standpoint and what's the value proposition? Yeah, so I think it fits very nicely into you know, our overall cloud activities. You have heard that, you know, all of our customers are moving there. That becomes, you know, pretty much a standard now and starting point for for many conversations. Uh, and and we want to be there. And uh, if you listen to uh, what Praveen said, for us, I think there are multiple angles uh, to to play the cloud here. I mean, one is, you know, Splunk as a software as a service. That's Splunk Cloud. Yeah. Uh, and then we also, you know, want to integrate with Amazon in different ways. I mean. Enabling our customers to monitor the applications that they are running in AWS that becomes an, an important data source for them you know, if they really want to use us as their insurance platform you know, for running mission critical workloads in the cloud. And then there is you know, other, I would say, foundational Amazon technologies like S3 uh, and EMR you know, where we want to have a play. So the integration that uh, you know, we announced today uh, with EMR is really to bring our hunk, so our dupe-based product, uh, uh, to a closer integration with that. Uh, and that basically allows you to integrate hunk, you know, with a push button click when you, you know, order an EMR instance uh, with Splunk as an additional tooling you know, that, that comes with it. And that I think simplifies our customers' life a lot to really, you know, get some value out of what they are doing in EMR. So if you had to describe the kind of, kind of, 
animal Splunk is? Because Splunk is one of those companies that's this new modern era company. Certainly mm -hmm. Wall Street's kind of seeing you know, numbers go down, but you guys are producing great results, right? So we see other companies like Tableau, these new modern companies that are really kicking butt, not really understood by Wall Street. So how would you guys describe yourselves to the, to the Wall Street analysts of the world and folks out there who are trying to put their finger on why, um, how to describe the value of Splunk? So I mean the high level tagline for us is really that we are the industry leading platform for machine data analytics and what customers are deriving from that is operational intelligence. So that's pretty broad, yeah, there's a platform element uh, to it and I think we've honed this you know, character of being a platform over the last years quite a bit. Uh, and I mean there are just, you know, I would say, new and bigger expectations uh, that customers like the Cokes and GEs have. Uh, they really use us in some very mission critical aspects of their business uh, and I think you know, we need to grow with them uh, in that usage. So to support these mission critical applications for the cloud that means for example our 100% you know, uptime SLA that we are giving them uh, and then just the whole uh, scalability thing uh, where I think we are really getting into a different dimension with what customers are doing. And the business model change. I was giving a talk on this yeah. freemium idea or which is a great business model for cloud. Cloud brings up this notion that you don't have to be a pure play platform or a tool company. You can actually be both. You guys have really one integrated uh, platform. So that's awesome. I think that's, that's the thing that I always say is, is that the proof is in the customers, mm -hmm. right? So, Devaney, I want to ask you, what are you seeing from customers and how do you guys relate with customers? So when you do your, you know, you're running like the wind, you got your PRDs, your MRDs, I mean, you don't just make up features because I'm sure the feature list is pretty long uh, internally, but you got to go out and you know, connect the dots with customers. What do, you, what do you do, who do you talk to, and what are some of the things you're hearing? Well, we have a lot of different ways that we access customers. I, I think one of the best ways that we get data is internally. We use Splunk, we're Splunk customers ourselves. Uh, so I use Splunk every day in my job as a product manager. And it helps me make decisions based on what I see people clicking on on our website, uh, you know, the, the metrics that I'm gathering that, that people are, are using. And it, it's really kind of like that modern age of product management. But then of course we have just tons of time on the ground talking to customers directly, seeing what they're doing, helping them. We're all very technical and very manual in the product management organization. And we have this very vocal community that I haven't seen at companies before. They love reaching out. A lot of them have me on speed dial and they'll send me a picture of a dashboard that they've built. So it's really just kind of this uh, combination of the analytics and also just the conversations. Last year in theCUBE, you had one of your customers said, I've been liberated by Splunk. I mean, you've really <laughs> changed. I mean, what's great is you changed their lives. The yeah. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, you guys really have an amazing product and it does change. And this is what I, I'm excited about, the kind of companies that are coming out like Splunk. This is the real thing that no one's getting yet, like in the, yeah. I, I'd say mainstream world. Certainly tech we do. Um, so, that's awesome. So what I ask you a kind of a personal question, what's your favorite, most cool feature that, in, that you're working on? Your favorite, everyone has their pet feature. Come on, you got to come clean with us. For me, oh, yeah. I think it was event pattern detection. It was the feature that I mentioned in the keynote. So it takes these millions of events and then it uses machine learning to show you what's interesting. And I think that's, that's the future of analytics. It's combining human insight and human intuition with technology and the power that we have from like these new powerful computers that can churn on data for us. So that's an area you'll see a lot more investment so from as well. So a lot of well. people that, that want to use, that you, as you move up the kind of the, to the business side of the user base, they're not geeks, they're not data science, mm -hmm. they're, not gonna, they're not gonna wrangle data with Python. So what are you guys using some of that algorithms for? You guys, is it predictive analytics? Is it the machine learning? And what specific innovations are you guys doing to make the folks who are just want to get their job done really clean, clean product. So I mean you will see that we will make the product a lot more intelligent uh, than what it does today. I think we are doing already a great job but there is a lot of opportunity. I think one of the key aspects to make the product a lot more consumable is really user experience uh, and we have dialed up our efforts and investments on that quite a bit. So Splunk has now a really experienced you know, senior manager, Carola Thompson, uh, uh, who is our chief experience officer. Uh, and if I may add my personal you know, favorite feature, it would be really the new field extractor that we have. And I think it's really a brilliant example of you know, how we can use user experience, use user experience actually to solve a difficult problem. So I mean, if you look at some of the field extractions, that is really, I would say, 
very complicated sometimes uh, to make some sense out of and it. That really more data so and that brings more data sources in? Is that the main No, thing, it, it's, it's really for, you know, how do you get some structure out of it? How do you identify okay. that piece of information you know, in a rather cryptic string yeah, of, of text or data? Uh, and that is really an art form yeah, to isolate that piece you are interested in. And I think if you look at this new UI we have built there, you will find that the team has just done an awesome job to make a very complicated problem rather simple. Yeah, that people like you and I, who are more casual users, yeah. could, could really do that job. Great. Well, guys, I really appreciate you coming on theCUBE. I'll give you the final word for both of you. Each share um, to the folks out there, what's coming this year? What, what do you expect to deliver this year? Obviously the SVP, it's everything for you, but, and also what you're working on that, that you expect to, to bring to bear this year. Well, so uh, the next release uh, is uh, knocking at the door. So we just announced 6.2, yeah, which will go into the market GA end of the month. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think that's exciting. Uh, and that's, I think, for the rest of the year, probably the biggest thing that we still have to deliver. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Analytics, what you, what's coming for you on the analytics uh, search side? Well, definitely the 6.2 pieces that we talked about today. We're really excited to get that out there. And then from there, uh, I'm really excited about next year. I think we have some absolutely amazing and features coming. Job, which is really building the team. I remember yeah. when we were sitting the first time <laughs> together here in Las Vegas. Two years, two and a half yeah. years ago, yeah, you know, I had a team of maybe 120 people. This is almost three times yeah. as big now, oh, and I'll that's one that. of the one of the key jobs in, so three, in my in team. Three x growth this year on team. Uh, no, size? overall, oh, yeah, overall, compared okay. to that time, and so the uh, you know uh, development shop engineering team, including product management, is probably more like 300 plus now. Yeah. yeah, and uh, that's almost a full-time job in itself. Yeah, to just well, bring I'm getting, I'm getting the hook here, but I want to ask one more question because you brought up something <laughs> that I love talking about: is every company has a unique culture. More <laughs> law, Moore's Law in Intel, which is you know very specific. What's your culture in the product team? What do you guys? What's the guiding principle? What's the one thing that makes Splunk unique? Fine. You know, people at Splunk <laughs> value engineering excellence. Yeah, and I think they like to build product, having a lot of fun with it. And I always say to my guys, hey, if we don't have fun building it, don't expect that fun will come out of the you know, box when the customers unwrap it. We like yeah. delightful experiences. <laughs> if something isn't fun to you, and we and kept isn't it. Exciting, so you know, yeah. if you ask our, our guys here, the Splunkers, I think they will all tell you they still have a lot of fun coming yeah. into the office every day. As I always say, work hard, play hard. Uh, you guys are great. Love, love, love the company, and I think your business model is awesome. I think the people are going to start to really see that with this cloud evolution is not just about the pure play. You guys are certainly delighting customers. Appreciate your time to come on theCUBE. Thanks for the having us. Product guys. team, Thanks. leadership here at Splunk. They got the leadership, they got the innovation engine, and uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see what happens next year. And thanks for coming on. This is theCUBE. Okay. We'll be right back after this short break. Thank you.